everybody, my name is Grace, and today I'm going to read this chapter 6, Dark Science Movie. When United Artists turned down American Graffiti, they also turned down George's space story, now called Star Wars. They weren't alone, so did every other studio. No one in Hollywood knew what to make Star Wars, what, what to make of Star Wars. The first sentence of the story treatment was not to confuse and anyone. The story of Mace Windu, a reversed Jedi Bendu of Opuchi, who was related to use by USB C J T. Father one learner to name to the famed Jedi. Huh? Alan Ladd Jr. at 20th Century Fox encouraged George to edit the story, and they made a deal for Star Wars in May 1973. Gravity was released in August. By November, it was a huge hit. But rather than use his new power to demand more money for Star Wars, George stuck to the original terms of the deal. However, he did request Squirrel, Squirrel and television rights and rights to the mechanising produce products and toys based on the movie and the soundtracks, music used in the music, movie. He just wanted to control his vision. The studio couldn't believe their luck. What kind of Candace could Star Wars inspire. They were happy to hand control of those rights over to George. George and Marcia moved to San, Almen Al San Alselmo, California. Their Victorian house was also the headquarters of Lu Lucasfilm. While Marcia edited movies for director Martin Sorsi, Sorsi. George worked on his script for Star Wars. It was inspired by the stories he loved as a child and the myths he studied in college classes. Nobody else could write it. For eight hours a day, five days a week, George locked himself in his room to write draft after draft on yellow pads of paper. He carried a notebook to jot down ideas. When filming TH8, 1138, Walter Murch had once referred to a sound tape labeled Real 2 Dialog 2 as R2D2. George gave the name to a droid character. One day, Marcia drove home with their Alaskan Malamute, Indiana. In the passenger seat of her car, it's a dog, I think. Inspiring the character of San Han Solo, Harry Copilot, Chewbacca. Finally, in March 1976, George was ready to begin shooting the North African country in, of Tunisia and in England. The cast were all unknown actors except for British actor Alec Guinness, who played Obi Wan Kenobi. George planned for the movie to have great special effects, but he wanted to create and control them. So he had hired his own team, led by John uh, De Christa, De Christa, and set everyone up in a warehouse in Van Nuys, California. He had named the group Industrial Light and Magic, known as ILM. George had promised Fox, he'd try to make the movie for $3.5 million, but it imagined it would cost closer to $8.5 million. The actors who played non-human parts often had trouble with their costumes. After Kenny Barker kept falling over inside the R2-D2 costume, Anthony Daniels had trouble working as C-P-P-O. Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca had to spend 12 hours a day in a bodysuit made of 
a grown owl wool and yak hair. It looks very uncomfortable. The rest of the cast had trouble with the dialogue. Harrison Ford, who played Han Solo, complained that that you could type lines like this, but you can't couldn't say them. It didn't help George. That helped George. Didn't particularly like working with actors. His direction mostly considered the three phrases, faster and more intense. Let's do it again. Only this time it do better. Terrific or terrific. Just before filming began, George changed the name of his hero from Luke Starkiller to Luke Skywalker. The shoot went over schedule and over budget. George was exhausted. He finally finished in July 1976. He visited ILM hoping to see many completed special effects. Instead, ILM had used up half the budget and had and had completed only three shots. That night, George had, had George had what he thought was a heart attack. It turned out his chest pains were the results results of stress. But he went right back to work, adding the long awaited special effects from Ivy LM and fixing scenes in the editing room. The studio decided to release that movie. In only 32 movie theaters around the country instead of usual 6 to 800. They worried that no one would want to see a movie about spaceships, aliens, and robots. George was so stressed, he even didn't even remember the date of the film's premiere. On May 25th, 1977, he must Masia was stuck in a traffic jam on Hollywood Boulevard as they were heading out to dinner. The street was packed with traffic. On the sidewalks, lines eight people wide stretched around the block. What's going on here? George asked. Peering the clouds, edging closer, he saw those people were going to a Gorman Chinese movie theater. The movie, the movie on the Mercury, Star Wars. So that's all of chapter 7, uh, chapter 6, sorry, and I will see you in chapter 7. Bye!